March 12, 2022, Daily Devotion. Days may be darkest, but your light is greater. You light our way, God, you light our way. When evil is rising, you're rising higher. With power to save, with power to save. For our scripture reading today, please read Lamentations chapter 3, verses 19 to 36. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 to 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Why wait? There is a song about God's steadfast love that we used to sing back in the first grade. I remember how we would sing this song on a Monday morning in our assembly time. Then, it would be stuck in our heads for the whole week. Some classmates would hum or sing this song at random times throughout the day. Through the years, I never forgot the tune and words of the song. It was in my teenage years when I realized that the song is from Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 to 23. Lamentations is perhaps one of the saddest books in the Bible. It expresses great grief as the prophet Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, wrote it after Jerusalem's destruction. Reading the book will place you in the midst of a deserted situation where hope is unheard of. The scenario they faced was one wherein the people of the Lord were allowed to face afflictions of all kinds, and their prayers were blocked. 
they were pushed to desperation to the point where their strength and hope had ceased to exist. This chapter of the book is the first time that the word hope is again mentioned. It signaled a shift from hopelessness to looking to God once more. As Jeremiah faced at first tease, he did not deny the situation he was in, but he remembered and described that his soul sunk. As his soul was in deep distress, something came to his mind. Hope. Hope is his reason for waiting on the Lord. He remembered that though Jerusalem and Judah were defeated, they were not completely consumed. Because God allowed them to live, there is still hope for the future. Even as God disciplined His people, His compassion was not extinguished. His people can have renewed hope every morning. All these are possible because of the unchanging faithfulness of God. It does not matter if God is pronouncing judgment or is promising restoration for the people. His faithfulness is constant. In this time of distress, Jeremiah's soul found rest in God's goodness. He declared that God was his portion, his inheritance, and source of happiness and blessing. Turning to God from all the rejection and rebellion in the past will make the people realize that God's goodness and salvation never changed. Jeremiah verbalizes that even in the midst of despair, seeking God in hope and waiting is always good. Being able to experience difficult times while we are young is a blessing. God allows a season of adversity and testing to a young man because it better prepares him for the life ahead of him. Jeremiah urges that the young man is to use this time to reflect and seek the Lord rather than to struggle and to get out of the difficulties willfully. He then closes this portion of the chapter with an emphasis on God's goodness even in His justice. Our just God remains to be our good God. The suffering that they endured will not last forever. Even the difficulties they encountered are expressions of His love. Like the heroes of faith and prophets in the Bible times, we experience suffering and testing of our faith. In times when difficulties are punching us from all sides, we are allowed to grieve our losses. We are not taught to suppress our feelings and employ positive thinking. Instead, like what the prophet Jeremiah advocates, we have reason to wait on the Lord because of His great love and His unchanging faithfulness. Reflection Life and the promise of a new morning are manifestations of God's goodness, faithfulness, and mercy. Whenever we are losing hope in the situations we find ourselves in, we have to remind ourselves, Habang may buhay, may pag-asa. There is hope as long as we are alive. And more so, we have hope because God is our portion. Are you about to give up waiting on the Lord? Take some time out and wait silently on Him. Prayer Heavenly Father, thank You for Your compassion towards us. None of us are worthy of Your grace, and yet You chose to love us and give us hope for each new day we face. You do not cast us off. You do not neglect us. You hear our prayers, and You answer according to Your will and ways. Thank You, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.